you know, there's lots of bad games out there. You know, there's shovelware, there's budget titles from everywhere. But this game is seriously the worst game ever made. Period. Calling afraid to fuck himself. No, uh, I mean, um, uh, Lovage residence. Residence? Sorry, kid, I don't speak French. Uncle Larry? The one and only. How goes the Echo Planet career? Are hippies easy? Oh, yeah, my life's incredible. My carbon imprint is non existent. <laughs> ah, chip off the old block. Listen, Larry, I've always liked you. Maybe it's because you remind me of myself back when I wasn't the head of a film studio and super rich. Uh, uh, d does this mean you're buying my script? Larry, celebrity sex tapes are not scripted out. They just happen. Ah, rejection. What a shocker. Larry, I need your help. Someone I can trust. Someone inexpensive. One out of two ain't bad. What do you say? It mean a lot. What, is it drugs? I mean, I, I, I know a guy, but he likes to... Break my thumbs, uh, even though I've never even bought anything. Larry, I don't trust the phones. Is there any way you could fly out here for old times' sake? What old times? Heads up, Stinky. We're going to Tinselwood. I told you, man, he's my uncle! I'm just doing my job. Now come on, Larry! Quit clowning around. Get in here. He tasered me. Be glad they didn't get to the cavity search. How did you get here so quickly? Well, my trailer park's just three blocks away. Well, I'm glad you could spare the time. Here, let me show you around. All set? Then strap on something tight and hang on with both hands, nephew mine. You're about to enter a world of magic and dreams. Over in our right now, those are the executive offices, the seat of my power, engine of my hubris, and home to my penthouse suite, a chamber of carnal marvels beyond the horniest straight man's sickest fantasies. Wow. Can we go inside? Sorry, Larry. <laughs> We're still doing magic and dreams, not fantasies. But also on site is where you'll find my right-hand man, only this one is a woman, and ice water runs through her veins. A good, strong gal with durable breeding hips. Denise. Ah, there she is now. Hey, how goes the ball busting, Denise? Say hi to my good nephew here, Larry Lavage. I don't have time. Some of us work for a living, you know. That's what we like to hear, Denise. Rage! Up here is the mail room where we'll find our gruff but lovable resident curmudgeon Merv Walski, making sure no private parcels go uninspected. We'll catch up with Merv later. Okay, <clears throat> this looks isolated enough. Larry, it's time I told you why I wanted you here. Uh, I'm mostly ears. I noticed that. Maybe we can pay to have them fixed later. Larry, I've learned from my private investigators and life coach that there's a plot afoot to ruin my company. But I'm enjoying your company. Your personal. No, as in my studio. My rival, Big Anus, the even seedier tycoon who runs the bigger soulless movie studio across the street, has infiltrated my staff. One of them's a mole, a wasp intent only on sabotaging everything I built or outsourced. Larry, I need you to uncover the identity of this mole and expose him. I thought they lived in hills. No, not that kind of mole. So, you want me to investigate, but have no authority, influence, or access? Exactly. Loserdom is the perfect camouflage, and in your case, it'll be especially convincing. Maybe too much so, actually. Well, won't introducing me to everybody as your nephew kind of give it away? Good point, Larry. See? Thinking. That's why you're perfect for this. 
So, if I find this mole, I should come to you? I'll be incognito for the rest of the week, but my assistant, Denise, will know what to do once you've gathered enough evidence. Uh, but so, what if, say, Denise is the mole? Larry, don't be ridiculous. I'm sure she'd be woman enough to turn herself in on criminal charges. She may be a bit cold, but she still has scruples. I'll try to keep that in mind. Well, Larry, this is where your inaugural tour of Laffer Studios ends and your magical toil begins. I'll just introduce you to my good friend here, and you'll be squared as butter. Who's the newbie? He doesn't look union. Larry, this is my dearest friend in the whole world, Ebenezer Weatherby. My name's Al Jones. I'm promoting you to being in charge of Larry, you know, showing him the apron strings, the whole nine inches. <laughs> Can't wait. Oh, <laughs> that's the spirit. Treat Larry as you would me. Larry, congratulations and welcome aboard the media conglomerate. Um, which office is mine? You don't get an office, asswipe. You're not going to be doing much sitting around here. Now sit down and let's go over the three golden rules of your new existence. Rule number one. It's Mr. Al to you. Really? Rule number two. You do everything I say, no matter how disgusting or illegal. Uh, how illegal? Rule number three. I don't give a shit whose nephew you are. Around here, we work our asses to the bone. And trust me, it's got bones. Any questions on the first three rules so far? Uh, yeah. Where are the honeys at? Broads? Come with me, Romeo. Oh, in my sleep. Uh, hey, by the way, is that loud? This one's probably more lifelike than the ones you're used to. What we get to do now, and by we I mean you, is scrape this thing so clean it sparkles like a firefly's doohickey. Think you can handle that? Yeah, hey, hey that sounds cool. Thanks again. Um, lunch later if you're interested. I was thinking maybe Japanese. Did, no? Yeah. Huh. Maybe if I stroke faster, I'll be done sooner. All right, kid. Magic of filmmaking for tards. This here's called a mini-map. You use it to find mission objectives, critical locations, and to see the world smaller and less confusingly. Arrows above or below these show whether they're above or below your current position. If you'd like to know more, Chapter 17 of Minkowski's Exegesis on four-dimensional space might prove illuminating to the relatively dilettante. A good read, but a little preachy. Come on, kid. Pretend it's your cousin. Get in there and scrape. So if the first couple cutscenes were to give anything away about this game, is that it looks like complete garbage. For some reason, I feel compelled to tell you to press the interact button when it appears, but <laughs> I don't know why. It's almost as if this is some sort of game. That would be weird, me in a game. <laughs> I forgot to mention this is one of those wacky, funny games where they're always breaking the fourth wall and they know they're in a video game. And they joke about it because that is always funny and it has never been done before. Thanks, Codemasters. Graffiti. One man's art is another man's restroom entertainment. Alright, Larry, you've conquered all ground level grime. Congrats. Now scurry up that ladder and keep at it. That shit ain't gonna clean itself or we would have hired it instead of your sorry ass. Just as a gentle reminder, one climbs surfaces by walking right into them using controls highlighted on the screen. It's simple, Gravity 101. Right, yeah, a ladder. <laughs> See, I, I'd never thought of using that. So, did you guys notice the uh, little camera glitch that happened there when I was climbing up that ladder? Well, expect to see that not only throughout the rest of the tutorial, but also throughout the rest of this game, especially in parts when the camera has to actually stand still when you're platforming. Seriously, did any of these guys go to art college? Looks like a little jumping's involved. 
Little newsflash, Mr. Gravity. There's nothing and nobody I won't jump. Yay! This one's for the bathroom counter! And we have just collected our first collectible in this game. Um, I think this is the only main collectible throughout the game which comes yeah, in the shape no of a weird looking pieces, statue. But I the and the sake of collecting the them is if you really want to hear your main character make a really dumb joke. That's all it really comes down to from what I can tell. So I'll be picking them up here and there when I see them. I'm not going to purposely go out and go like a hundred percent run. But if the time FYI, comes and I do see one that's easy to reach and don't to go out of my way just to collect them, the I guess I'll pick them up. On the screen or drop off them and climb back up. But feel free to experiment with your own stupider techniques. I wonder what being a graffiti model pays. That sounds like a dream gig. Walking along beams and ropes is a simple matter of cat-like reflexes and inhuman equilibrium. Good balance, according to many great athletes, is a key to not falling. Just as counterbalance is key to not rising, according to many lesser athletes. Hey, that's my mom's phone number. There, just like new. Or not. Actually, it's pretty grim in here. Well, there's no graffiti now, at least. Did you get it all then, Pipsqueak? Very impressive. I can hardly tell this is the same soundstage I drew shit all over yesterday. Oh, right, one last thing. Double jumping against the wall lets you wall jump if you time it just right. It's not hard for most 10 year olds I've met. I almost forgot to mention there's going to be a shitty movie reference in about 5 seconds from now. So look forward to that. Hello, Larry Lovage here, wanton sex god. Wait, is that... Oh, are, are you my father? Jeez, what a pervert. Well, Pipsqueak, you get every last speck of crud. Not only is your advertising now crud-free, but look what I found. I, I gave one just like it to my mother. Yeah, I set it to vibrate and everything. Yeah, after that, she was so happy, she demanded I call more often. You're amazing. I know. <laughs> you know, actually, a phone can also be used as a bug, if you know the right codes. Um, whose is this? To me, it strongly resembles the one owned by a total asshole and former talent agent named Kip. Really? A, a total asshole? Yes. Total! You know, actually, you two might be a good fit. Why don't you run along and return that to him? He's in the Hacienda-looking building by the main gate. Take a fucking moron to miss it. I accept your dare. Feel free to take your time. Like several weeks. My talk shows are starting. Oh boy, now's my chance to meet my first actual super agent. I can't wait to see how happy and grateful this Kip is that his phone's safe and sound. And now for something you'll see throughout a lot of this game, and that is fetch quests. This game is loaded with them to the brim. So expect this to be one of many, essentially. So you may be wondering, how is the driving mechanics in this game? To which I will reply with, it is absolutely terrible. It's probably one of the worst driving mechanics I've ever played in my entire life. Um, essentially, when you're not going fast, you turn on literally a dime. And when you're going fast, you can barely turn at all. So it's a lose-lose situation. But it is the, by far the fastest way of transportation about this game. So you have to at least get used to it.
Bobby, why you gotta be that guy? They make musicals out of everything these days. This Katrina one will work. We shoot in 10 days. Help you, help me. Hey, you, Coco, just leave the spotted owl burrito on the desk and get lost. She is? How long? I mean, can we exhume her body and scan it for digital recreation? You. Uh, uh, me? Who are you and why are you holding my personal belongings? <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm I'm Larry. I, I work here now. I, I, I like porn. Larry, babe, let me explain something. I'm what you would call a power broker in this town, okay? My cock ring costs more than your car. Do you have a car? I, 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 don't, I don't have a car. You don't have a car. Why are you still in my office? Uh, I, I guess I'll be going. And don't wander far. I might have an odd job lined up for you later, and I don't like waiting. Comprende? Capiche? Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? Now, who the hell was that crap weasel in your office just now? I don't know about him, but something about his bone structure looked a little familiar to me. Relax, old man, okay? He's just some loser. He won't get in the way. In fact, we might even be able to use him. He said he likes porn. Kip, just so we're on the same page, this is a $3 billion takeover. And if you fuck this up for me, you will be making infomercials that watches to buy her next kid. And that is it for part one. Um, hope you all have a good night or day, and take care.